Art times. Excuse me. Excuse me, it's art times. Hello. <laughs> Hello, art times. I don't know why I came. I don't know why I went out to this energy. Man, I, you know, I've talked before about the idea of me being like a, of doing like an Eric Andre esque talk show. But I think that might actually be the worst part. Because I think. No. Eric Andre does do a walkout. It's silly, and there's typically not someone, like, waiting there for him. You know, no guest waiting. But, like, if I was to do that, I think that would be the worst part of my talk show, for sure. And just, just <laughs> the part no one enjoys. <gasps> but regardless, hopefully we go on to something that people do enjoy, which is comics. You know, I try my best at these. Legitimately, and here's the thing, I'm gonna be real with y'all, I haven't, oh, no, that's the wrong one, I haven't done much lately in way of art, because I've just been like, I would like <laughs> to just not fucking worry about it for a bit, but, but, that's why we're here today, and hopefully it just means that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rare, I'm gearing up to, uh, to, to, to really pump some stuff out. Also, thank you, Riku, for the one month. You're an amazing adventure. Well, it's one month of subscriptions for 11 months, which is legitimately almost a year. Hope it's been a good year for you so far. I'm pumping. I could, I could pump harder. I could, I could, I could, I could opt to pump harder. Frankly. Hi, Juice. You know, I'll just come out and say it. Because Juice is privy to this information. Not long before stream started, I got a text from a friend um, about 
getting a free GameCube. <laughs> so I might get a free GameCube. Now here's the thing, GameCube is free, which to be fair, you know, there's lots of coll expensive collectible GameCube games that that would be pricey, but besides that, you know, you're pay you're saving money on the console just have to buy games. And those would be, you know, regular price cuz 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 economy, I guess. <laughs> Um, but I was looking at specifically the Game Boy Advance player for GameCube, which is a little add-on, like the thing I used to stream Pokemon Gold so long ago. Um, that lets you play Game Boy Advance on GameCube on your TV and everything. Um, the only problem with that is that the, the price for them and the, the price for the total accessory together seems to be roughly two hundred dollars so mayhaps maybe you know maybe instead of doing a monthly goal i do like a some kind of charity stream not i mean it wouldn't be a charity stream because it'd be for me <laughs> but you know fundraiser stream for stream fundraising stream for stream i could i could see what people want me to do the most and then and then do that would be pretty neato Because right now I'm just trying to get by, man. <laughs> People are just like... <laughs> I had, I saw that. I saw that. I didn't even... I, I legitimately switched over to Discord for a minute. And I saw Juice pop in. He's, you can't hide no. from me. I have a... I have, at this point, I have a fucking spider sense. Because you've done it so much. No. Anyway. Juice, how would you feel? Let me, let me ask you, as a person who I think is rational about some things and wildly un... You're... Okay. Juice is rational in the way a computer is rational. Like, Juice is hyper-literal. So, which means for some things, they're great. They're, they're, they are a, a, a solid foundation from which to go on. In other things, they're completely batshit insane over. And I can't, and I can't believe they've gone on like this for so long. <laughs> so, with that in mind, Juice, let me ask you something. What do you think about the idea of me doing like a big fundraiser stream, like over overall, to try and, um, like like really, uh, you know, boost boost my streaming game. I would honestly, uh, I honestly think you'd find better luck doing a just setting up a throne. That's a fan. You're a fan. You see, everyone look at Juice now. They're this is why they're smart. They're very smart. Thank you, Juice. This is this is why you are the rock upon which I build my church. Oh no. No no. Oh no, organized religion. No, I'm sandstone, man. I'm gonna uh, disintegrate in like five years. <laughs> is that I don't is that where is that where that comes from? Is that is there like a extended saying I don't know? And it's like it's sandstone and it's shit. Or are you just assuming you're sandstone? I'm just assuming. No, oh, okay. Juice, how was your day? Yes. Mm, I see. I will say. Brain hurt. Uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, Sam, I have a headache right now. If I end up calling out of work tomorrow, don't blame me. Especially when my family is like, never call out of work. <laughs> At some point, listen, I'm doing a bit better. Yeah, like I wouldn't say I was dying on the Dokapon stream, but you know, you. I mean. I, <laughs> I could have been doing better. Um, and now I, I know I slightly am. In part because of the GameCube stuff. Um, and just because I saw Deja a lot this weekend, yada, yada, yada. I, I took the time to not work on things and instead just play Monster Hunter. <laughs> but with that in mind, among just straight up GameCube games to play on stream, we could get the Resident Evil 1 remake on the original console it was released on. We could get the Sonic Adventure games. We could get other thing. So that's why I'm like, it's exci It's exciting times, you know? This adventurous music is so fitting. Gamer? Gamer? Hello? Gamer? <laughs> gamer, were you he hearing me talking about being a gamer? And you were like, well, I have to. I have to, I have to support this. 
if nothing else. <laughs> gamer, I have some bad news for you. What, that I'm not a gamer? Yeah. Well, guess what? I'm going back to Dark Souls soon. So, you, you, you watch Which me, one? gamer. Uh, the first one. Mm. Listen, it's gonna. I'm doing like a minor challenge, okay? It'll be fine. We talked about the challenge before, and you gave it the go ahead. So don't back out on me now. You abs. You, you ab. You absolute fiend, you. Remake. Which I bought earlier. Yes, but did you buy it on the Switch Gamer, or perchance do you own the fabled gamed cube, and you have it on there? <laughs> Cause that's my plan, <laughs> and I'm excited about. It. I like I like original console thing, cause the way my friend specifically said it was like, hey, my one friend is going through their closet, they found a GameCube, and I was like, I know one man who will take very good care of this, and I was like, correct, absolutely, I will I will protect it with my life. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I don't know. I I I, if nothing, okay, so. Couple goals I have in life. Oh my goodness, 21. It's out on the PS3 and PS1. Ooh, that is very cool. Yeah, that definitely counts. I don't know if I consider the PS3 retro, but it's old at this point. I would consider GameCube the cutoff for retro. GameCube and PS2. After that, you're just getting in. It's not retro, it's just old. <laughs> so. I'm like I am now. Thank you for the 21 months, Paula. I hope you enjoy those emotes. I really need to get on my ass-shaking emote that I've been meaning to make. But animation is hard. And also I need to get, like, the gif of a Amoga shaking their ass. So I can break it down frame by frame. I think I have, like, four. <laughs> four different... Yeah, yeah, like that. I mean, here's the problem. I'll probably just look at the original gif. But also, it would be it would be nice if I had a GIF that was specifically from Twitch chat, so that way I could like see what other so I could like sync it up. See, those two aren't synced up. Which one is this? That that's from from Monty Vocals, and then I'm pretty sure this one is Dan. Yeah, that one's Dan. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. But yeah. Juice, what are you passionate about? Genuinely. Like, a lifetime passion or a very short dopamine passion? A lifetime passion. Uh... Honestly, soldering. I so, fucking love soldering circuit boards. You know what? I respect that. That, that, I mean, like, that's like the brick laying of the modern age, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you like in, in medieval times, you needed the fucking the 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 stone men to come all along and build your castle. And nowadays, you need fucking juice to come to your house and make you a computer so you can do fucking anything. But uh, I I was going to say I got interrupt. I will not interrupt it. <laughs> For I just stopped. Um, but like, uh, pers goals in my life. I. Uh, have boat make a theme park i think one that's become more prevalent and the most realistic is ha make my own library that when i that towards the twilight of my life <laughs> when i'm like up oh, i can feel it i'm dying i'm currently dying and nothing can stop it um like i open a library with the stuff uh with the media i've collected over the years which has systems in place to ensure said media will be protected against a anyone who would come in and you know mistreat them uh just 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 via pure carelessness or b you know someone be like hello i am i am from 19 i am from the 1984 government give me your things and they're like no you pizza shit never you'll have my you'll have my life before you have my zelda I will burn this planet to a, the ground before I let anyone touch my original copy of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Or Legend of Zelda, the original on NES. Or Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, the HD remake for, for, for the Wii U. 
or The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. Or The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the 3DS. What other Zeldas do I own? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you own the Ocarina? Not the Ocarina, it's the Oracles? No, I do not. But... I Listen. I, I, here's the problem. My favorite, and in my opinion, the best Zelda game is is in a similar style and and on the same console as the Oracle games. Um, which makes me scared to play them because I've heard they're different, which is cool in general, but it makes me scared to play them because I'm like, well, this one is my favorite, period. I don't know how these are going to stack up, and I'm afraid about me just not liking them and everyone like, you bastard! You cold-hearted bitch! <laughs> Oh, it won't be everyone. Just me. Just you. Are, is, are the oracles your favorite juice? God, no. Minish Cap is. No. Well, see, they, juice, this is why you need to help fund my... Wait, I might own Minish Cap on Wii U. I might have gotten that before it went offline. But still, fund my, my streaming GBA games, not emulation, on GameCube because I'm, I'm a freak. I'm a freak like that. People, I, I get into bed with a leather mommy, and they're all like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you going. I'm like, uh, original hardware. And they're like, what? <laughs> they're like, why don't you just emulate? And I was like, I don't know. I like playing on original hardware. And, and then they're like, you're not paying me enough for this. They, I'm leaving. <laughs> I know you said not to get on that stuff, get on that stuff, or stream, but like, you would never hire someone like that, would you? No, I wouldn't. I mean, for there's there could be a lot of reasons, but am, among among many reasons about why I would not hire someone to do 18 plus things with me is because I don't like the idea of having to hire someone to do 18 plus things with me. You know what uh, I mean? I wasn't talking about that. I, mean, I was talking about specifically being leather. Oh, okay. Well, then that too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into just someone. In, in, uh, uh, I don't know why you would shell out that kind of money, and they're like, "Yeah, put more clothes on." <laughs> I want to see less of you from when you were in your blouse and mom jeans, for this amount of money. Look, some, some people like the guessing game. <laughs> Some people like the squeak of leather. And that's the other thing. I don't think the material would be very fun. I'm not... I don't, I don't like the idea of, of like, latex leather. I'm like, ugh. So much friction. It's not really slippery. It's, like... It's, it's, it's tight. It's bonding. And I know that's the whole thing. I know that's the B in BDSM. And the D stands for donuts. That's why everyone's talking about donuts and fruit roll-ups recently. You know? Oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh. I need to take fucking uh, headache medicine now. <laughs> I'm not. It's bad. I don't know why you didn't take it much more stream, but here we are. I don't know what happened, but if it gets any worse, like I think it started towards the end of. Uh, work for sure maybe but that might just be because i ran around so much mm. guys <laughs> with your donations i can stay in bed when i have a headache <laughs> no i'm not gonna i'm making too many donation jokes i apologize you've already done a lot of there's been two subs in a in hundred bits that's more than that's more than I come online, I, I want to say, like, expecting. That, uh, I feel like that's a bad word, but also at the same time, it's kind of right. Because I, I ex all I expect is everyone to have a good time. Hey, everyone, are you having a good time? No, damn it. <laughs> hey, Juice. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I hate, I hate myself. I've accidentally hated myself. Thank you, Riku, for $20. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. I'm sorry that I hate myself. <laughs> you did not have to do that. The bit ends now. I'm sorry about the bit. Anyway, Juice, let me ask you something. Is there a conventional... A uh, conventional thing in mythology slash fiction? For when a... Like a devil doesn't hold up their end of the bargain? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there a conventional consequence to that? Or, like, what's up? Uh... I'm not super versed on that trope, but from what I've seen, they just kind of die. <laughs> they perish. Yeah, they like no. devil die. They devil no. die, or um, good old Lucy is like, you piece of shit. I you... taught you better and beats them until eternity. Damn. What was I thinking of? Listen, you're a monster, Yucker. You're smart. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure you have secret witch knowledge. So... I just figured... You'd be my best jo- you be- are... A Christian thing. Why would I have knowledge about that? I don't know- Well, you say that, but I never got taught about demons! Why- why did, did I- it? No! <laughs> why didn't they- why no. did I stream- Why did I skip demonology and... Fucking... They didn't even mention the devil. I knew the devil from, like, cartoons and shit. What? I think I, I that was weird. No, if anything, I think I went to actually maybe a legitimately good Christian school, what, because like everyone else is like, and then they would beat us with sticks, and I'd be like, what the fuck was going on at your school? This the, first off, there's only the school with the nuns. Well, my school had a nun, but she was like the principal. Like that was the whole deal. The nun is like the principal, and then. Like, the teachers are just teachers. <laughs> they're, 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 they aren't necessarily religiously affiliated. They, they just work at a religious school. And then we have a religious class that's like, Jesus. And I'm like, neat. Good for him. Jesus. Neato. <laughs> yeah. I, I really hesitate to be like, ah, oh, good religious school. Because I think, very correctly, a lot of people are just like, the whole system's whack. And I'm like, valid. But also at the same time... I feel like I hear wild stories from people who went to different schools states away from me. And then, furthermore, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like just fucking... It's a, there, were, uh, there was never a scandal at my school. And fucking... Are you kidding me? 2000s Christian school? That was, that was Scandal City, baby. That was ABC at 8. Scandal. Daisy got really into Scandal for a while. I still don't know anything about it. All I know is it that certainly it certainly is. Was, it, do, it does. Yeah. Also, also, damn it, what the fuck does. Like. 1600s naval officers look like? Someone White. quickly. <laughs> white. Well, yeah. these ones are gonna be dogs, so. Oh, dog white. <laughs> quickly, name the most Caucasian dog. Hold on. But really? Oh, well, I did have one, so. Uh. 1600s British military. I mean, I should just look at Pirates of the Caribbean again. So. Commodore Norrington. Oh, look at him. I mean, I'm looking at this. Yeah, I should just look at the fucking. I, I, I should just look at the fucking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean because they're look, someone's gonna fact check this, even though this is a completely fictional place with completely fictional, you know, um, uh, like government system, and they're still gonna be like he's actually wearing a a, a foot soldier's garb. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, you're the re you were the person at school saying that the teacher forgot about the homework. You you were you're the te you're the person at school who like the girls didn't want to be around because you made them feel uncomfortable. Get out of here. Get dunked on, random person. Fucking person pointing out that my dogs are not willing wearing the correct rank of uniform. You're, you're the per you're you're the fucking person who when we were learning history would bring up the racist parts cuz you like them. So so s leave. Leave. Get out of here. Away. 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 
Oh, why? Time to play Bloodborne again. That is, oh yeah. So, so I do have news about this. Um, Magento wants to play Bloodborne, so we're gonna do that at the start of, um, this, after my break. Um, but then also, I'm gonna be away for like two whole weeks worth of streams in someone else's house. So instead of bringing my entire PS5 to play Subnautica, like I said, we'll do Subnautica in May. And uh, this in, in April, I will do my special run of Bloodborne, Bloodborne? Dark Souls 1, I've been meaning to do. We're already going to be playing Bloodborne again after like a month of being done it. <laughs> so, I don't know what more you guys want. How much more Bloodborne can I give you? It's a good game. It's one of my favorite games. Can you guess what my favorite game is? Epic Mickey? Yeah! Wow. Oh, speaking no of... I shared this in Discord. This, okay. I was talking <laughs> about expensive game collect collective stuff um, a minute ago. This was not one of them. This, this was 20 bucks on top of my groceries. I got the Epic Mickey guidebook that I was talking about. I got it. It comes with a fancy thing and everything. Um, so now I have the Epic Mickey 1 and 2 collector's edition guidebooks. And it wasn't a million dollars. I pro I promise. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be transparent and be like, no, 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 no. I'm not spending money on completely stupid shit. I promise you. Please believe However, me. However. Someone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't get the art book, technically, I guess. Well, hey, guess what? It's like $300. Yeah, exactly. Saving money. <laughs> on on not, not spending it on stupid stuff. I mean, listen. Technically, it would be in, in on brand. But... I don't, I don't think the brand I don't think the brand shells out for um three hundred dollars art book or otherwise we'd have the spider verse art book first so you know consider consider, consider that getting you the spider verse art book consider that spider verse is good also question okay. oh go on no I was just saying okay oh, okay I mean you can answer this too juice um, are there any, like, GameCube-ass GameCube games people want to see me stream? The, the first one I thought of, well, Pikmin and Chibi-Robo. Because the, the, those are two that the game store near me have for, like, reasonable prices. So, I, I figured those could be two of them. So, if you're like, hey, Hill, I think this would be good. And then if I can get the Resident Evil remake, that can be our uh, Halloween stream. But Kirby Air Ride. Does Kirby Air is that like a multiplayer game, or a or a? That it is legitimately like a single player Kirby game. I mean, like every, basically all Kirby ga are single player. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, well, that <laughs> Beba, you've answered the question. I don't know how I can set up a GameCube for net play. I here's the thing. I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> To be frank with you, I think that time has passed. I don't think I can get. get Crash Team Racing. Is that on GameCube? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can get Donkey you Konga. Get... You should get Resident Evil Code Veronica, the game Code... that they retconned 15 times over. I was about to say, I'm. Hey, we we've expe we've seen me try to experience Resident Evil on the channel before, and it's clear I'm a wee babs with my toes in the water, or I'm not about to do spin-offs. <laughs> like, maybe we play any other of the main series first. Is your Be Right Back screen supposed to be up? Damn it. I was Googling. I didn't want everyone to see my porn. My hot bar full of porn. And before Can Juice... Before Juice jokes about me having a hot bar filled with school links I did I have different ones ones for porn send them to me you don't actually have it do you no I don't say porn I'm sorry mm -hmm. Kelly. beyond good and evil oh I've heard about that and activated it well Beba the thing is that I've been talking about a lot is I'm getting a free um a free GameCube Probably. So, if you have any legitimate, like, hey, Cahill, this is on the GameCube, then let me let me hear it. I'm willing to. 
I'm excited for the Sonic ones, um, because I've heard that every rendition of Sonic Adventure, every time they ported it, they were doing a worse and worse job. So therefore, you know, getting director's cut <laughs> would probably be my best bet. Get the Chow Garden. How do I make someone look snooty? Uh, uh, um, Shrek <laughs> for the GameCube. Oh my lord, I should get Scooby doing the cyber chase legitimately. <laughs> oh, is that on the GameCube? I think that's GameCube, yes. Hell yeah. I love that. You can speedrun it. I <laughs> get, get first place just by virtue of the fact that no one's fucking playing oh, Scooby Doo no, at the people, cyber. Uh, run that game. Why? <laughs> For what reason? It's a fun game with cool skips. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Hmm. I love. I love how I was like, let's finish a comic tonight, and then I spent 20 minutes on a, a literal bitch's face. <laughs> no, this is a man. This is a man dog. And also, technically, he's not a dog. He's a toon. This is not a bio this is not a biological animal that lives on Earth. It, it just looks like an anthropomorphized version of one. Oh, I've heard about that too! But those are expensive. Yeah, you see, Bebba, like, Chibi Robo and Pikmin at my local game store, that was like $60. And yeah, is that a lot for a game that came out 20 years ago? Yes, but it is also normal price for a game now. <laughs> and they're, you know, and they're pieces of history. So, I'm like, okay, that, that's not too bad. I think... I probably only get like two GameCube games to start off with, and my range for those is sixty to eighty dollars. I prefer if it crosses the hundred dollar mark. I'm like, hey, that better be a pretty good fucking game. Heck, the Ocarina of Time co uh, collector's edition was only like sixty dollars. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Beppa. You want to know one reason why I'm so keen on getting the um, game on the, the the Game Boy Player? I have. Fire Red and Emerald, the legitimate cartridges right here. I don't need to buy those. Those are wildly expensive nowadays, but I have them just just by happenstance from when I was a baby. Um, so it'd be cool to stream those on, on the legitimate cartridges. But again, that that's probably a ways away at this point. <gasps> Bebo, we're twins. We're, we're, we're brothers. We're brothers in Mons. Me and Juice are brothers in porn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to play the new Shantae. Oh, yeah. They're, are, are they making a fully new Shantae, or are they releasing one they didn't release before? Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. Okay, Paula. Give them to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you keep those, Paula. I imagine they have sentimental value. You keep those safe. I was... I need to... P what part of me smells? Some part of me smells that... Mm. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, yesterday, yesterday my grandparents and some family were over, and, um, my, my pop was like, hey, mother, could you, my grandpa does not call my, my mom mother, that'd be so weird, and I would hate that. Anyway, they were like, hey, Cahill's mom's name, which is what he did say that, um, he was like, can you order me? You have good Amazon. Could you order me a DVD? And she was like, you fool. Get it on the digital streaming services. And I and I, I did have to defend my grandfather. Because fucking 
every streaming service these days, like, at first they were, everyone was like, the future, and then they were just like, we have no movies, because, because, because we, we, fuck you, taxes. <laughs> so I'm completely behind my grandfather. Start going physical again. Everyone go invest in Betamax. <laughs> Okay, if you say so. Yeah, it's all it's all we got left anymore. We're gonna we're gonna get to the fucking regular show point. You know, in regular show, um, how how like the even that Beba. Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's legitimately just like no, it's not on any streaming ever because we hate you. <laughs> but also, you know, in regular show, how like the newer technology exists. But due to many conspiracies and shit, like they're all using VHS and 8-bit video game system. That's what we're that's what we're gearing towards at this rate, with the way capitalism is working now. It's just gonna go fully around because we couldn't handle anything past the 80s. <laughs> if that. So look forward to it. <laughs> they're gonna re-release Evangelion the way it was always meant to be watched on VHS. Get ready for it, which is how that. Which is, I mean, to be fair, that's how they'll get um, "Fly Me to the Moon" back on it. So maybe people will be excited for that. Oh my goodness! Let's talk about this juice. Me and you are in a Discord. I know it's hard to believe, but stay with me here. And someone in that Discord shared an image of everyone's first anime, and Dragon Ball wasn't on it. I'm sorry, but that is, that's like the major claim to fame Dragon Ball has. Like, grand, like there's lots of critical stuff I could say about it, but more than anything else, it's everyone's first anime. I so so I was insulted. <laughs> I, was, I was so insane. I, I was so upset. I was like, you, I can take a lot. I can. I will allow a lot of smack talk over Goku and his muscle boys around here, but don't you dare claim that they weren't many people's first exposure to anime. I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will lose my noggin. Anyway. I think Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh aired earlier. I do those. It's here's the thing. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of funny to think about because somewhat like you know, four kids, One Piece. It was like heavily censored technically <laughs> when it aired. There wasn't guns or mention of hell. Um. In, in, in the American version of Yu-Gi-Oh! At least not the one they were showing to kids. Um, which is such a shame. We should be teaching our kids about the hell dimension at a, at a younger age, really. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Does, does, like, when I think of anime, I think of, like, a uh, an animated series that is rated T for teen, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like even across borders, had so much more of a, this is a, a kid's show kind of thing. So for me, even though they, I guess technically they are animes, it feels weird for me to say that. Uh, What's up? I mean, I get it, I don't understand. <laughs> I, un I get I mean, it. I understand, I don't get it. What do you mean you understand, but we don't get it? Like, the words you were saying make yeah. perfect sense. Okay. However, my fee-fees yeah. say differently. Gotcha, understood. Okay, I, I guess what I'm saying is that Japanese censorship is different from American censorship. You follow me so far, right? Mm -hmm. And even though... Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are technically made animated in Japan and have had moments of censorship. Their core stories and what have you and, 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 ju and just mechanics of what's happening feel 
like they 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 don't need to be changed or censored uh, to to bring it over, right? Like they they didn't have to stick a lollipop in Brock's mouth because he smokes in every scene, right? You get what I'm saying so far? Yeah. And I feel like, I mean, I guess at I guess I am at this point narrowing it down to shonen, but even then, I still feel like cow. I would say Cowboy Bebop counts. That's not a shonen, um, but like. I don't know. It, the more kid friendly the, it is, the more I'm just like that's kid show. And anime anime isn't necessarily like this is for adults, but it, I do think it's more, you know. It, it I think the idea of someone's first anime is in part about like being exposed to the wider world, and as such, you know, getting something a, a bit more adult oriented. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! It makes sense. Okay. My Fifi still negate you, though. Gotcha. Also, I I wanted to say, because fucking, this is the other thing. Someone's like, a friend of ours is like, this looks so ugly. My first anime was Oban Star Racers, which apparently is an English language French Japanese anime television series. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um,. I know what it means. Maybe that means it was... Maybe it's like fucking Cold Lyoko, where people count it as an anime, but also at the same time, it's... <laughs> it's, it's made in France. I guess for... I so, guess... Go on. You know how everyone gets uppity about whether Avatar is an anime or not? Yes. It's the same thing, but France. Gotcha. I feel like with that... In Co I feel like there's so little examples... Of French anime that we might as well just call it anime and call There's it a day. A lot of anime. Well, then fucking France makes it's anime. Not mixed over here. Yeah. This is not Mickey. That he will be. He will be more goof. Like he will be more of a goof trooper in a minute. So please hold all judgment. Michael, <laughs> Michael what are you doing? <laughs> Juice, what would you name this man? I have to look at him. Clarence? <laughs> so wait, okay, I have I have the 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 um stations of the navy right here. So so he would he would be uh Commander Clarence is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I can work with that. The sequel had live action. Fuck that. I I feel I rem yeah. I I Beba has just remember reminded me that I googled it at one point and Code Lyoko has a sequel series that's in live action. But fuck no, <laughs> I refuse. I'm sorry. Just on principle. I I I I've made enough concessions with the One Piece live action. We're not we're not doing this. I draw the line this here. Action's good, though. It is exactly, and I've and I've made enough concessions. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Where I, because I was like, I think One Piece needs to be adapt is is a big enough, and important enough story that it needs to be adapted more. That I'm not going to be upset just on principle about the live action version, but that but but that doesn't mean we just keep get keep get to keep making animated properties live action. I'm sorry. What? Why? <laughs> Juice, I will, you know what? Like, maybe I'll hear you, uh, maybe I'll hear my good friend Juice out on it one day, but I, I don't know. <laughs> we need to stop, we, I'm nipping it in the bud now. Not the I, Buzz Lightyear. I, I, Buzz Lightyear wasn't even live action. It was just shit. It was just one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Okay, the animated tele, the two D television show is so much better, um, with Patrick Warburton even, um, but also, also, what was I just thinking of? I forget. Yeah, no more yes. live action. Oh yeah, I've had enough disrespect to the art that I've loved for my entire life that I'm not about to be like, yeah, no, that's fine. Like, I, uh, we're not giving out passes left and, and right. I'm giving it to One Piece because I think One Piece is legitimately special. And to emphasize that, 
I said, this is fine, but no further. We're not doing it. We're, this isn't this isn't a Batman thing where I'm like, I've crossed the line. I can't go back. No, you kill the Joker. You move on. OK. That, that's the end of it. <laughs> Do you think Lego Batman gets to a point after the movie where he's like, OK, well, now I have to kill the Joker. <laughs> yes. No, no. <laughs> We've decided to be mortal enemies and. He's legitimately an, a, 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 a threat, <laughs> so... <laughs> hmm. I mean, I guess he looks okay. Uh, I gotta give him his yes big... Yes or you know? I mean, what I want to do... So I've seen this before, but like the pants don't really have a flap, it's just a stitch, you know? Like this. Mm -hmm. A crotch stitch. <laughs> That's pretty good. What was I thinking of? But yeah. Your wife. No. I mean, I do miss her tales. I miss her a lot. See? I get a GameCube and then we stream that and I say I miss my wife tales. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. You also get the piss on the mug. I also get the pit. Hey, reference. I love when they played Shadow of the Hedgehog. And <laughs> he got to, and they, they, apparently there's a scene in that where the arc fires again, and he says, hey, reference. <laughs> and they also say, hey, Shadow, it's me, the devil. I'm here to convince you to do sin, the Bible. Dude, imagine being the devil from the Bible. I couldn't, honestly. I could, I could, I couldn't eat another bite, if I'm being real with you. No, oh, okay. Well, you juice feast on human flesh, everyone. You heard it here. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Juice, okay. How, how, do you think everyone's so, all the time, everyone's like, I could eat a hurt human. It'd be easy. I'd like it even. Do you think you could eat a, a loved one? Yeah. Not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, why'd you have to specify not you? Because I was gonna say I'm not important enough. I mean, I no, mean like, no, 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 I want you to know that yes. it would be harder for me to eat you than my family. Damn it. Well, I did say love. Anyway. Because <laughs> do you know about the story that inspired Moby... Well, one of the many stories that inspired Moby Dick, or no? No. The Wreck of the Essex? The Essex? Essex. Essex. <laughs> oh, my lord. Are you ready for story time juice? Yeah. They made a movie about this, but I heard it wasn't good. Anyway, um, it was with Chris Hemsworth. Okay, so the whale in 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 the golden days of, of, of the whaling industry in New England, right? The whaling ship, mm -hmm. the Essex, sets out on a voyage as whaling ships are wont to do, um, in in the hopes of coming home with a with it with a hole full of oil. Um, a, a, a while, a good amount, a concerning amount, into their voyage at sea, they haven't seen a single fucking whale. <laughs> they haven't seen whales for a while, right? Like, it's not, they, it's going bad here, right? Um, so they keep looking. Because, it, like, imagine if every time, you, you know, you wanted to t take your car out, you had to come home with infinitely more oil than you brought it out with, and you had to pay for the lives of 60 men, right? You can't come back with nothing. You better get something good. You feeling me so far? I, I'm, I'm, put, I'm painting the picture of the whaling industry for you. So, a couple weeks out to sea, distressingly little whale sightings. Um, after a while, though, um, uh, upon, you know... Uh, upon moseying around a bit it, uh, in the ocean, 
the Essex and her crew come, a pot, come, a, come across a pod of whales. Because for anyone who doesn't know, you know, whale biology, whales live in large familial groups and, and are incredibly intelligent. So they're protective. So they go out to sea and start whaling. Um, and it's going about how whaling goes, right? They're kill. Oh boy, these men are killing whales. Um, what was I thinking of? Uh, except here's the thing: one of the whales, pretty aggressive, right? Pretty, it, it's a, it's an angry whale. The whale not happy about the whaling situation. You feeling me so far? That's fair. Now I don't know what you think a whale would do when it's angry. What this whale does is um, it bumps the Essex a couple times with its head. It, 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 it rams straight into it. And it's a, it, that's a boat. It's a ship. It's a whaling ship. And I, I would argue if they hadn't made whaling ships to withstand whales, then they were doing a bad job at that, right? So the Essex might be a little scratch, but it's fine. Okay? Um... That is until the whale breaches on top of it. The whale oh. comes full out the water and splits the ship clear in half. Oh. So now, now they're in the middle of the ocean. I can't stress this enough. It's been uh, well over a month. And they are, they're in the ocean. Um, and this is real. I'm not, I'm, I need you to, to be so clear. This is not every account they could get says the whale claim came clear out the water and split the ship in two okay now they're a month out into sea they're in the sea and the essex is not making it back to america okay the essex isn't going home so they so the captain does the thing captains do and he calls for abandoned ship right um with right. all with the long boats they have and and the crew available they fill, um, they fill three, um, life rafts, right? There, there are three lifeboats of crew members that make it out into sea. Um, they get separated and only one is ever found. Um, now I forget if they, well, I, I, I say found, found alive. Um, cause I forget if this account comes from, uh, the 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 sh ship that was successfully rescued um the boat that was successfully rescued of what remained of the essex right um or if it w if they if they found this out via some kind of diary or what have you upon finding the lifeboat um but on one of the lifeboats was the captain of the ship i know wild it's insane insane the captain of the ship was on the ship and got into a boat okay so he's there um, they're out at sea long enough that they don't have food. And I mean, you remember the, you remember the kind of luck they had with, um, whales juice where they weren't finding any, they're not finding mm -hmm. fish either. It's not going well. Um, oh, no. at one point they pass New Guinea, not necessarily like they can see it, but, um, they, they know they're near it and they decide not to land there because of rumors of cannibals going on and i don't know if there have been because there are cultures of cannibalism across the world um yeah and there I, is a tribe of people in new guinea that, okay uh, cannibalized. listen but i thought that like might be colonial right thing okay i mean so it is kind of colonialism but still um so they decide not to go to new guinea because of that right um, but they're at sea long enough that they're like, hey, remember how we were going to avoid cannibalism? Um, the cannibalism has come here. Um, here is the problem, though. None of them are dead. Yet. Uh, but if they don't eat one of them soon, a couple of them will be, right? So they decide to quite literally draw straws. Um, and, you know, r rules as rules go person with the shortest straw gets shot and eaten by the crew okay Fair. um so they 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 draw straws and a young crew member uh draws the short straw to get shot and eaten it's the captain's son oh with the the, the cat in, in the boat with the like 
to be they were not separated in the boat with the captain's son is the captain and they and and like obviously the captain wasn't happy about that but you know he had I, I think the kid if i remember correctly from the documentary i saw the kid had a good bit of honor and he was like listen if i don't one of us has to and it fate has decided it's me we're doing this so they did it um but yeah that's why i asked because i remember that i mean the essex has become not as famous as moby dick but pretty famous over the years um and remembering that story uh was just like that captain had to do that so you I know why i'd be pissing and crying yeah, yeah yeah i think a lot of people would be pretty upset anyway i if you if you want a more kind of I don't want to say detailed because that story ended with cannibalism, but you know, if you want a if you want a more accurate historical account of the Essex, please look up any of the documentaries. It's a real cool story. It's a real sad story, but also whaling wasn't cool either. So you know, like those guys didn't deserve that, but also neither did the whales. So who won? No one. <laughs> Literally no one. If you want more information about the cannibalistic tendencies of the people in Papua New Guinea, I am here. <laughs> Juice I also know here. A little too much about it. Okay, you know, I mean, listen, that wheel won. Of, yes. Well, so there's been a couple stories. So there was apparently a giant albino whale uh, called Mocha Dick in in real life pre uh, preceding uh, Moby Dick's creation. So that part's true. There was the Greek whale who had an ancient Greek name, so I don't remember and can't pronounce it. That was famous for sinking Greek ships. Um, in the Mediterranean Sea in ancient times, and then that one obviously um, came a report. So there, there have n there have been a number of accounts of of whales fighting against humans. And uh, hey, we're not we're not usually prepared to fight whales like fight whales. So the whales will win every now and then, <laughs> as they should. As they should. So yeah. I don't know. I I do think it's a neat story, again, just because of, because because you don't because that's I had to stress that right like that what like from the because remember they were covered one lifeboat with live crew members and all of them were like the whale split the ship in half <laughs> like it split directly in twain, but no more ship, so that that sounds like a fantastical thing did in fact happen, so I don't know. Life is wild sometimes. Life on the sea is wild. I make comics about pirates. <laughs> you love those guys. I love those guys. They didn't hunt whales usually. They would they would club seals and sea turtles though. They don't <laughs> don't listen. Listen, it's either that or you draw sh straws and eat your son. And <laughs> I'd rather draw straws and eat my son. Uh, that's that's wild. I can get the seals thing because seals are cute. So you'd be like, no, not the seals. Um, but I, I wouldn't. My son wouldn't be the first pick. I'd kidnap that a man. Legacy ends with me. <laughs> like <laughs> there, there, I my my bloodline ends with me. But you've already had a son. My bloodline ends with me. <laughs> I'm going to post natal abortion. Him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm looking up the British Navy again. Oh, not the British Navy. Listen. You hate to see it. Well, I couldn't... They're the bad guys here, so... I don't know what you want me to tell you, Juice. I don't know either. Uh... I have, I have no shame about that. Cortez exists in this world. Most people hate him. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, he's the bad guy too. <laughs> Cortez killed my great granddad. Like actually? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> you could have fooled me. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I hey, guess what? I I want uh, the people of England to rest easy this time. Because the, the the United Trade Islands do not necessarily represent England particularly. They represent the whole of Europe um, in at the height of colonialism. 
So, don't y'all sweat it. Thank uh, you, Britain. <laughs> you know what you did. <gasps> you started the whaling industry, you know? There wasn't as much whaling before you got there, <laughs> so... Essex is your fault. You know what? Fuck Adam, man. You know, Ad you know, first dude Adam. Yeah. If he had, if he hadn't come into existence and ate a fucking apple, none of this would be happening. His fault. It's his fault. I go to work, and I'm sick of that. Can't believe this. Can't believe this because of some dude who ate a, a fucking apple. Hey, Juice, do you believe in the butterfly effect? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So, would you submit that time travel, as shown in many um, pieces of fiction, is largely impossible? Not even necessarily because of the physics problem you'd have to overcome for that, but also in part because. To go back into the past and change even the slightest thing would inherently undo your own timeline. No. No. Your thoughts on time travel juice go on. Uh, impossible. In a Im place where it was possible. Yes. Um, a multiverse would immediately exist. Gotcha. Because of how time travel works. Now let me submit this to you because i thought about this the other day um what if time travel was possible but at, you're kind of working i do it's weird to put this right so time travel is possible and you do do it but anytime you do it and go back and do something in the past that is already the time you are existing in so grandfather paradoxes are still impossible but you're, it's kind of a predetermined thing going on here, except not really. It's more just like a, it's just going in a loop all the time, where it's a bootstrap. It, I guess what I'm saying is that the, uh, that 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 time travel ends up always resulting in a bootstrap paradox 100% of the time. You know, you go back in time to the dinosaurs, step on a twig, the Earth explodes, no more dinosaurs. But there were never, but the dinosaurs always went extinct. So, you know, who extincted the dinosaurs? Was it time travel? Wait. I guess so. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, you get what I'm saying by that? I do. Yeah. But again, that would assume time travel is physically possible. And honestly, I feel like I would need to convince Juice that FTL is possible before that, and, and we're still working on <laughs> that, so... <laughs> Me and the boys at the lab... I've been cracking our noggins over it all day. And and we're getting closer, but it's not easy. Juice, do you believe in FTL via some kind of space warping? I don't know what that is. Like, okay, so you know how Albert Einstein was like, look at this look at this fucking paper right here. This is the universe. I bend it, poke a hole through it. That's how you get from one point to the other. Yeah. Yeah, do you think that's possible? No. No? You don't think wormholes occur, occur period? Hmm. See? Oh, I got ya. I mean, you. I probably just because of quantum physics, like, mm -hmm. everything's gonna exist mm -hmm. at some point mm -hmm. when not observed. Mm hmm. So all we have to do to travel through a wormhole is close our eyes. Mm. <laughs> that's not how observing works in the science world. Yeah. That's right. I mean... Wormholes are for the worms, not spaceships! Damn it. We can't do- we can't do it because it's only for worms. Damn space segregation! Keeping the fast travel only for worms. I mean, this is why people ask, would you still love me if I was a worm? Because <laughs> they found worm Yeah. Worms, so what we really... 
so what the, what we really need to start asked working on is not faster than life travel but met but a kind of metamorphosis deal where you are turned into a worm so you can go through a wormhole and then when you come out the other side you are that you are then turned back into a human if you'd like that sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you want to work up with a worm for 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 a fast pass for a space green card. A hookworm? I can't wait <laughs> for people to be like, space illegal immigrants, and everyone's like, fucking how? <laughs> I, I don't even understand how that's possible. You tell me. And it's like, I don't know stuff, and it's like, I, I, you know what? <laughs> I think you're bullshit now, and I think you might have always been bullshit. Get out of here. How many guys have I told to get out of here so far? <laughs> like three. I mean, to be fair, they all deserved it, so. Damn, you a wormhole guy? I mean, the wormhole guy I just described was a fear monger. <laughs> was a fear mongering white right wing news guy. Or, oh. It, yeah. Okay, yeah, fuck that guy. Exactly. I don't know why you're defending- Juice, why- Juice? Juice? Why are you defending him? Hi. Stop. It takes me a, a longer time than most people to process information. I think I just do bullshit things that don't make sense to anyone except myself in the moment. If anyone right. can- If anyone can explain what I'm thinking at any given mo moment, they deserve some kind of reward. They're poss possibly also acoustic. Mm. I worked today, someone mentioned a, a jury duty. And I was reminded of the fact that you were like, Kayle, you'll never get jury duty because you're acoustic. And I'm like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I don't get to give someone the death penalty. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I, um, I don't even think that's a thing in New Jersey. Why? Parking ticket. Death penalty. <laughs> oh my god. Choose his punishment. Also, Death! I, yes. I have not gotten a jury duty letter. Why would you get a jury duty letter? Because you get one once every year. Oh. Maybe they found out you were acoustic. No! Told no! You. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, monsters! I love jury duty. <laughs> I mean, Bebe, it would get me out of work and also DEATH! <laughs> That's not a thing. Also, you get to sit around for eight hours and do whatever you want, especially if they don't call you. What was the thing you know? Bubba, I have gotten one every year since bootleg. Damn. And this is the first year I haven't. I am they, scared. They said they said your brain is funny. <laughs> you can't decide life and death matters in the state of Maryland. Uh, please. <laughs> I want to give someone a parking ticket. Huh. You're never going to be president now. Never going to be president now. <laughs> and that's one less thing to worry about. Out Hamilton eating Oreos in a parked car. I was chosen to eat Oreos in a parked car. You fucked it up. You fu That was the I second part. Yeah. Because it's... Oh. No, wait, was it? Oh, no, no, you were right. I thought there were two, because that's how it is in the song. You know, where it's like a, where it's like a, a two verse of Calmer. Yeah. At the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. You were chosen to eat Oreos in a parked car. I was chosen for Oreos in the parked car. <laughs> I, I do, listen. It's because I'm not fucking as online as I will be. I'm not so online that when people like start dogging on something or what have you for whatever reason that I'm aware of it. So I love seeing people be like, I went back to listen to Hamilton again because I was like, haha, it'll be bad. And then I was like, damn it, they still cooked. Still pretty good, actually. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Lin Manuel knows how to write a musical. Damn it. He should be banned from Dave and Buster's. Yeah. 
of the Oreo, the Oreo case, case to, I'm terrified, but go on. <laughs> explain. Explain. And how can I join it? And give one... <laughs> give, they would have people have sex, and then give one person an Oreo afterwards, and one person not an Oreo afterwards. I want to join immediately. <laughs> the person who got the Oreo died. <laughs> Oh, I want to join immediately. <laughs> oh, Daniel is mad at me. No, what did you do to upset the puppy? I woke her up by talking. No, nah, man. Danielle eating Oreos in a park car. It's chocolate. <laughs> She'll be fine. I'm trying to kill my dog. Daniel eating vanilla Oreos in the park car. Okay, what does your dog sound like speaking English? Juice, go on. No, that, that, no it's pretty right. You're right. That's probably the closest you're ever going to get. Exactly. Get off my dick. <laughs> like, Lord, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Okay, well, why did you make dog noises for that dog? I don't fucking... <laughs> what else was I supposed to do? <laughs> Explain! Oh, speak perfect English. Daniel eating Oreos in a park cart. You will die on <laughs> Sunday, March 2nd. That's not Daniel, that's standing on two legs, Daniel. Exactly. Get out of here. Damn. So I, physicists wanted to know if twisting an Oreo open could be done the same way every time. Getting the cream on either or one side along. This is what I pay, this is what I pay my taxes for. I mean, alright, sure. <laughs> That's why Mythbusters never should have ended. Like, this is what they were doing, you know? I'm like, why? Busting this. Exactly. Why end the, like, I mean, you don't even, you don't even necessarily have to make it a weekly television program. Just keep the, you know, the, the studies going <laughs> and, and film it. And then every now and then put, put together a special. Like, it's the 2025 Mythbuster special. We, we, we've tackled some of your favorites. You know, the ones we haven't done before. <laughs> I like the shopping lane one. That was a cool one. I own like seasons 1 through 11 on DVD. And I'd watch it, but I no longer have a TV that has a built in DVD player. I'm gonna get. Mail them to me. No. Well, no, uh, because I... my mom's mad that I have a CRT. I'm gonna make her matter, because when I move out, I'm gonna get a second CRT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I want, I want like. I want my fucking studio. It's like the computer and then two CRTs hanging all the wall next to it. And everyone's like, what deep state government are you a part of? And it's like nothing. I just I just like I this one's for VHS, this one's for video games, this is my computer for work. I don't what the fuck you want from me. <laughs> Listen. What was I just saying about, you know, fucking you preserving media because I can't trust companies to under capitalism I take that seriously you bitches <laughs> you can't call me that can I not oh well <laughs> you bite your thumb at me <laughs> sir I was about to me. I was about to make the joke that like that's how how people feel about protest these days. <laughs> Where it's just like you can't say that. It's me. <laughs> but to Shakespeare. I should read Hey, I should read Macbeth and then also Hamlet. Hamlet cuz of the Lion King and Macbeth cuz I hear Be Macbeth is good. Macbeth is great. I've, everyone's like, do you like Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars? Read Macbeth. And I'm like, okay. Macbeth has so many layers of deceit and mystery. It's just mm. like, Shakespeare, what were you cooking that day? That's what I like. That's what I like Othello for. And yeah, everyone jerks off to Romeo and Juliet. And I'm just like, this is the, wor this is the worst one. I like the the, the only the part. Worst one. <laughs> the only part I care what about. You knew about nothing exists. Okay, I haven't even heard about that one. So fair point. But I was gonna say, 
The only part I care about Romeo and Juliet is fucking biting thumbs. I like the part when Romeo squared up with Juliet's cousin and was like, I'm marrying this 13 year old, whether you like it or not. Wasn't he also 13, though? He was 17. Okay. Listen. At, le at least he wasn't an old, old man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're. we're oh, we're... like in the Merchant of Venice? Exactly. We're letting it slide because he wasn't wildly old himself at the moment. And also, it was like, I don't. Uh, it was, it was like the. 1300s, 1400s life ex yeah life expectancy was 30 and they did both die at the end of the play so yeah maybe they should have gotten married <laughs> the life expectancy is only 30 because so many kids died in infancy <laughs> so many di kids died to melodrama they were just like oh no my boyfriend i'll kill myself and then the boyfriend wakes up from his nap <laughs> and they're like oh no my girlfriend <laughs> i'll kill myself <laughs> And it's just like you fuck it. to bring that back in the 1700s. Oh my lord! They need they need to not do that. No, 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 they did. German men were like killing themselves if a woman rejected them. Oh well. Listen. <laughs> do I get it? Maybe, but also. <laughs> that, that, that would be dead thirty times over. It. I mean, it's just so long friends. It, it's just manipulation. I would not. <laughs> don't. Man or not, don't be like, date me or I'll, I'll end myself. I say I say that like it's not a thing people do now. It is. So, <laughs> don't. But also, if you do have bad feelings, please talk to a licensed professional. This post brought to you by Cahill. Hi. There are hotlines. And there are hot lions. Have you seen The Lion King 2? That one, it, see? Romeo and Juliet. We brought it back around. I have explicit lion things. Of course you do. Are you going to say any of them? Or are you just like, I, I live, I will, I'll live with the shame? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, it's not like lion lions. It's like furry lions. I mean, yeah, obviously. I'd hope it's furry lions. Who can resist a furry lion if we're being honest? Of of the furry subsections, lion is... It's one of the better ones, you know? And yet you won't draw yours. <laughs> Listen. I mean, at this point, he's he's been pushed so far back into the story, while still being canon, that we're just going to give it a minute, okay? Adult, you, you're frog lady. It's lion or frog lady first. So frog la and I choose frog lady. You don't get a vote this time. <laughs> I never get a vote. Bob. You do. You literally. You. I actively go to my friends, be like, decide things for me. I'm begging you. <laughs> I need to know what's you're normal, right. and also fucking. Also, this is turning out better than I thought. Yeah, I like this guy. He's gonna be the main villain. He's kind of stubby. But that works out. Well, the boy's around, so... Yeah. I wanted him to be longer, but honestly, at this point, I'm just like, honestly, I have I, I don't have enough qualms with how I've drawn him the first time that I'm letting it go. I don't... I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Cut to you three days from now. I need it. <laughs> Hey, Juice, did you know, um, that the crab likes money? I did. And the, and the sponge likes fun? Yes. But the star keeps shining. Uh-huh. And the squid is delicious. We should, we should go to a sushi place sometime. I'm actually allergic to squid. Oh, no. How could you I be there? I mean, the... I still eat it. <laughs> okay. So you're not like... EpiPen, you're yeah, like, not like I'm an... It's so wild to me that something like that can exist. Because, I mean, like, already peanuts and animals are just, like, fucking, you know... It, it's like... Also, I'm not going to draw his guards this time. It's just going to be this dude. Um, anyway. And also, I'm going to downgrade him to a lieutenant. He doesn't look old enough to be a commander. Um, but, but, um, I was going to add... What was I thinking of? Oh yeah, it's so wild to me that like peanuts and uh, 
animal allergies exist. Because objectively, that's the immune system failing, right? This isn't a thing that will kill you unless your fucking body overreacts to it, in which case it wildly will. You know what I'm saying? But then to take that a step further, and it's just like, hey, your body doesn't like squid either. And I'm like, squid doesn't even live in the same anything as me. How did you do this? <laughs> Who evolved you this way? I don't think you understand how allergies work. Damn it. I don't. I, I thought it, of it as, like, your body, your immune system being like, hey, this is bad, get it out of here, and it starts freaking out. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Oh! Uh, but, I would I thought, like, the more foreign the thing, the less likely it would be to happen. Cause no. It, because your body's just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Why not? The more, the more foreign, the more likely... And also, if you are present near something for a long time and then stop being present around that thing and then go back to being present to it a while later, you can develop an allergy. Man, I fucking hate meat. <laughs> I, for the moment, I understood the weakness of my flesh. I don't even know what that's a reference to. I feel like it's Warhammer. Just, just gut, Just gut feeling. But it could really be anything. That could be, that could be fucking. Uh, I have no mouth and I'm a scream, which I got, um, which I immediately got confused with. Fucking, <laughs> don't hug me, I'm scared. So, both seminal pieces of art, horror, but art. Oh my lord, juice, you would, you would fuck the clock from "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared." <laughs> You would. Don't lie. I would not. <laughs> I would not. Dalana. You son of a bitch. They got you pushing pencils. Why is that so accurate? <laughs> because I, I like movie quotes with my name in them. I can't do another can't Arnold. Can recite them? <laughs> exactly. Dalana. You son of a bitch! I got you pushing pencils. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't stop. I won't stop. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pretty cool. Hot, hot take. Guy, a lot of people love. Pretty neat. Dude popular enough to run for office? Like him. Is he still the governor? No. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of governors I hate, which we won't list on stream. Um, <laughs> tier, we'll do that on a tier list. Um, that have been governors for a while, and I wish Arnold Schwarzenegger had stayed governor for a while. I don't know if he did a good job. He just seems to be pretty neat. I think he did a pretty... Did he? Okay job. Has he ever worn a Protect Trans Kid shirt? Because there's a number of celebrities who are like, hey, to be wildly explicit about my stance on things. Behold my t-shirt. <laughs> I don't think he has. I feel like he would be. I'd be wildly shocked if... Arnold Schwarzenegger was any kind of phobic, really, <laughs> for for several reasons. But yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. I like to. I like to. I guess I'm just taking the benefit of the doubt. I don't trust celebrities anymore. That's completely valid. We've discovered. I mean, this unless, is what. Well, less. Unless you're David Tennant, mm. and or that's good Beyonce. Point. Beyonce. Heck, I'll give it to Dolly Parton, too. And I know everyone's like, she did an NFT. Fucking everyone did an NFT. And I'm almost 100% sure she woke up seeing Twitter and was like, I am? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? My what? Why is everyone suddenly mad at me? And it's like, oh, yeah. So. I'm letting her have that one. But I got my eye on you, Dolly. You better be 
charming and supportive minorities from now on. I don't know how, how, how much brick should I draw? <laughs> All bricks. And Juice, do you think you could build the Great Pyramid of Giza? Like by myself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I fucking love. Okay, let's talk about this. This stream has gone some weird places. Let's talk about this. I fucking love conspiracy theorists be like they couldn't have built the great pyramids and i'm like slaves <laughs> had so many people held against their will forced to do labor like no one wanted to do it they were actively being forced to you're you're like it would have killed a person to do it and i respond with it did it killed several hundred people to do it i don't Probably fucking several hundreds of thousands <laughs> yes exactly like I'm pretty sh I'm pretty yes no go ahead finish uh, I was I'll just remember gonna... my thought okay I was just gonna say it's like I fucking I saw one of the guys fucking write his name on the side of it in blood you can you can trace back that he you can tr trace back that Frank the Egyptian brought this stone here because he wrote it after he when he died on the spot so those guys need to read a book. Anyway, go on. Also, those historians greatly underestimate how mathematically um, advanced the Egyptians were. I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, there. I. It's interesting. I think it's hard for because it's hard for me, and I and I do my best to uh, kind of, kind of ruminate on these facts, um, especially because it puts into perspective like the rest of my life, like Egypt. And many civilizations before Greek and Rome, who like, yeah, those were different, but they were kind of butts to butts. And also Rome just yoinked a lot of Greek shit. Um, you know, Rome yoinked a lot of shit, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but everyone's like, that's the old one. And it's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. There were, there were so many more. And by the time those guys were around, they were all, all the other ones were already so fucking old. And, and, and like, so... And like Egypt is a, even though Egypt, you might, some people might think of as next to the other ancient civilizations, they're really fucking old. So, like, they had a lot of time to get very smart with shit, especially since they were like, hello, we've invented writing, <laughs> you know? So they're, so it's just like, we've invented writing, and then, you know, monkeys on typewriter style, we got smart just by writing everything we thought of down. Which is how I did, which is, to be fair, how all of humanity gets smart. So, now we've built the pyramids. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, that was a weird... Yeah. That was a weird conversation. I'm sorry about <laughs> That looks pretty good. It's nice and scratchy. But it's like scratchy in a way where it, it clearly kind of shows the what I'm going for. But yeah. Yeah, a lot of things just seem like impossible because Europe's Europe. And they're like, we're the center of everything. And I'm like, bitch, you ain't even the middle of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw, like, speaking of these, like, conspiracy theory TikToks, I saw one, and it was a comment that someone was responding to, of, of like, you're a, a, an English person being like, um, but we are at the center of the world? Check a map. And they're, and then they posted a map with the Pacific in the middle. And they're like, does this make you violently uncomfortable? <laughs> Read any book, I beg of you. That's why, oh, I don't have, I still didn't bring my world map into the workspace, but... That's why I drew my world map the way I did. Everyone's like, I don't like the one where it's like a cut up orange. And I'm like, well, get used to it. That's how a sphere works. And I'm not sculpting a sphere. So <laughs> I made a cut up orange of a map. You know? Like sometimes. You just fucking... Yeah, you, uh, you, you draw it to represent how Earth actually is. A globe. With, with many sides to it. Well, technically, there's no sides because it's a sphere. 
I mean, technically it's not a sphere, it's a spheroid that, that's compressed by gravity, so... Even... more no sides. That's... no! No, because because there's fucking rocks and shit on the surface. So there's where's the, where's the clumpy model of Earth without any oceans and <laughs> everything? Have you ever seen that or no? It's just it's just a I have not. it's just dirt. <laughs> it's just a model of dirt, and they're like, this is what Earth looks like without any oceans, and then it's you know a lumpy ball because it's ew. Why it look like that? Because 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 oceans are part of Earth's mass, and the and also. If we're technically, I guess Earth is a sphere. If we're putting gases into like the the planet, but if we're counting just the solids and liquids, then it's not. And if we're just counting the solids, then it's wildly not. <laughs> so it's so ugly. No. Why I live here? <laughs> Fuck this. I move it to Jupiter. It's a perfect sphere. Also, I can't breathe there. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the fucking hurricane storm and live there. I wonder if the red spot will be gone in our lifetime. Or if it's just... Down. I've heard it got smaller, but I'm kind of wondering. It's like, yeah. Um, it shrunk over our lifetime. Um, but I'm curious if, like, maybe it, like, shrinks and grows and, like, its formation is just a natural part of how Jupiter is. You know, like, America, North America will change over time. But, like, the landmass is a part of Earth, you know what I mean? So, like, even if it wildly changes shape, you could still trace it as North America. So maybe the Great Red Spot... I don't know, this... I'm talking out my ass, and I'm probably an answer online. But, like, maybe the Great Red Spot is the same, where it's, like, that's always going to be there. It's just that its size might change wildly, depending on what's happening on Jupiter at the moment. Oh my goodness. What's up? Was I right? Are you shocked because I was people right? Are... No, people are saying the spot could disappear in a few decades. Yeah. I fucking knew it. That's not as bad it's as... I mean, it's not as bad as Saturn. Because, like, at the end of the day, even though the spot's fucking cool, it, like, Jupiter will remain a beautiful mosaic of different gases of all colors and currents and everything. But Saturn lo losing its rings is fucked. <laughs> Who decided this? I want to talk to them. <laughs> uh, probably Jupiter. Yeah. I talked about Jupiter being a star thing, right? I fucking hate that. You put you pour respect on Jupiter's name. It's not a failure. It's the thing keeping you alive. You double decker whore sandwich. Stop! Stop Damn. saying. Ju yeah. Well, fucking. I'm sorry. Like, do you want to be the massive? A celestial body that keeps everything from crashing directly into Earth because of the pull of your gravity? No? Well yes. then, <laughs> well then fucking respect Jupiter. Stop calling it a... Stop calling it a... You know, a, a failed star. There are failed stars out there. I won't say what they're called because it'll sound rude. <laughs> it'll sound very bad. But, you know... Jupiter is not amongst them. If it ain't generating heat, it's not a failed star. And Jupiter don't generate no heat. It's windy. Like Chicago. I did a cursory Google search. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> of, what, of what I was... Of what failed stars are called. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I thought of saying it. And I was like, that's gonna get taken out of context. Someone's gonna be By like, me, specifically. I would have <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you would have been like, the fucking what? And I would have been like, exactly. <laughs> but no, Jupiter is awesome. Most of the time when we're not dying, <laughs> it's because of Jupiter. So. Look, Jupiter has stopped several meteors from crashing. This is what I'm those. saying. And that's great. Jupiter and Saturn combined. Like, you know, the. Even if the sun still takes up most of the mass in the solar system, like, there are Earth-sized objects stuck orbiting them, as opposed to, I don't know, crashing into us. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. We're crashing into Mars, and then yeah. the bits from Mars hit us. Yeah. Those, well, you know, just blowing up our moon. Those two major gas giants that are 
a bit closer to us than, say, Uranus or, or Neptune are the reason that so much... That, that the re that the solar system stabilized in the first place and made it Earth livable. And I'm tired of people being like, Jupiter's a failure. And I'd be like, you don't, okay, I'm an idiot. Everyone knows I'm an idiot. Everyone online knows I'm an idiot at this point. Even I know that's not how astrophysics works, you dummy. <laughs> you fucking dolt. Let me, let me learn you something. I don't care about your TikTok slideshows and, and your fucking, and your, and your edits to once <laughs> from the Lorax. Like, cut it out. Get out of here. Oh, but my edits of the one slur. <laughs> the war act. I'm just mad. I want people to be nice to Jupiter. I'm gonna say it. She's prettier than Saturn, especially if Saturn doesn't get Damn. to keep. If Saturn doesn't get to keep her fucking rings, then then she's just a pale orb. She's she's yellow as opposed to blue, like the other two gas giants, and as such. Boring. You're not gonna slander Saturn like that. Saturn. I mean, if anything, Saturn's cool because of its moons, which I mean, I guess I don't. I don't know if those count as rings or whatever, but I feel like more moons of Saturn tend to be interesting than uh, moons of uh, Jupiter. So it does have that going for it, but still, I, I'm getting defensive because everyone's been mean to <laughs> to Jupiter so far. Everyone say one nice thing about Jupiter. Please and thank you. Big. <laughs> large. Neat and large. Saturn, Saturn is my is favorite. My favorite. Uh, are you, okay. I want you to... You, you look... Juice. Juice. I need you to look deep within... And Baba, if you choose. I want you to look deep within yourself right now, okay? I, I need you to do some real retrospective because i mm. think this is a completely valid question mm. especially if there are um planets out there that keep their rings if saturn loses its rings and you and you are faced with the reality that one day whether or not you're alive but you could look at saturn and it, it would be ringless would it still be your favorite yes what okay now, now this is out of curiosity why uh, I like the uniform, uniformity, whatever that word is, of the gases in it. Gotcha. I also just like that it's the little sister to Jupiter. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I was just curious. I just wanted to ask, you know? <laughs> I thought it was only fair. It was like, yeah, even if we're not around to see Saturn not have rings anymore, I think it's completely a valid question to be like, okay, Saturn the planet with with ring with no ring, since that's apparently a temporary fixture, is that still what you love? Yes, no, and if and if still yes, I'm like, okay, well, I will not challenge you. I respect this. <laughs> Are you a real fan of Saturn or what? As a child, my favorite was Uranus. Not because of the name, but because of the invisible rings and that it spins on its side. I feel like I want to say my favorite is Venus, but that thing's gonna get fucking wrecked eventually. <laughs> so, you know what? Honestly, probably my favorite's Jupiter. Jup Jupiter's cool. It had... Jupiter, Saturn's a close second because I think you could... There's a lot of... there. Saturn is the one with a lot of Earth-sized moons on it, so you could feasibly live on a moon of Saturn. Um, but I don't know. I think living on a moon of Jupiter, setting up a habitat there, and then, you know, uh, waking up to a mosaic of a planet every morning, I think I'd like that more than orbiting Saturn. So... I'm, I'm gonna be real. I, I, Uranus and Neptune, you're neat. Mercury's probably my least favorite. It's what tiny. What Mercury do? Uh, well, for the first thing is like, <laughs> for, it has bipolar disorder, 
and I can't and I can't and I can't even deal with that I can't even deal with that right now uh, no but genuinely mercury is very small and the size is in everything but it's small while also being directly next to the fucking Sun and and is locked to that mercury is more like a fucking moon of a uh, of, of the Sun then then it is a you know the, then it is a planet into its own right so that that that's that largely sums up my description the mercury is so closely tied to the Sun um, that like it's like do you like the Sun I'm like I guess it's not my favorite planet obviously <laughs> so and then Honestly, Earth's pretty low on the list. I... Earth... I, I think people go back and forth whether or not Earth will explode... It, um, survive the sun's or uh, red giant phase. And granted... It does... It is the only thing we know that supports life. So I... So yes, I guess I have to go Mercury, Venus... Then Earth. Does Mars might... Yeah, Mars might be actually lower than Earth. I love Mars. But A, it's got shitty fucking moons that aren't going to be there for much longer. And it's small. So. Man, fuck you. So, so we'll go Mercury, Venus, Mars. Earth. Then... Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter. Those are my those are my planet rankings. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I don't like your TED talk. Why? Okay, what's your planet rankings, Juice? Least favorite planet, go. Earth. <laughs> Genuinely? Okay. Okay. Juice, I want you to really think about that. Okay, because I know, I know, listen, listen, honey, I know, I know, I know. But, on the other side, Earth is the only planet we know for sure supports life. So are you sure you want to lock in Earth as your least favorite planet out of eight? Yes. Okay, it's <laughs> fine, fine, whatever. What's, what's above, what's just above Earth? Neptune. Neptune? Okay, why is that? Blue. Mm. But it's got a spot! It's not as cool a spot as Jupiter's spot. It'll be around, though. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> why would you ever say that to me? The, anyway, okay. Above Neptune? <laughs> I have a feeling I know what's coming next. <laughs> Venus. Oh, really? Okay, why well, not explain that one? Uh... I feel, are you, go on, it's just, just like, eh, Venus, man. okay, yeah. okay, now above Venus, I feel like we're getting to some good ones now, are we counting Pluto, no, we're only, like, we, because if we do that, and it's not just to be like, Pluto's not planet, it, but like, just based on size and formation, I think we'd also have to count, like, A, the Earth-sized moons I mentioned, and then other dwarf planets, and you, right. we, we don't know enough about like ha you and me don't know enough about like half of those to make a good list, so yeah. go on. Mercury. Mercury. Okay. Mm -mm. Now explain your reason. Now Mercury has now come in fourth. Explain yes. fourth Mercury, please. Uh, because the IR pictures of Mercury are this colorful rainbow and it looks gorgeous. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so then. Uh, fifth, your your fifth spot above above the last four. Go on. Uranus. Okay, explain. On side, invisible ring. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I still kind of like Neptune more, but fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, above above Uranus. Sit. So third place. Third place is Mars. Please explain third yes. place Mars. Red. 
Okay, fair also, enough. the rovers died there, and I love uh, you guys. You know, memorial, good point. You know, maybe I should put Mars higher. Because red, it is beautiful. We've seen it, and it's beautiful. It'll sir, it'll definitely. You know what? I'm putting Mars above Earth. I realize that just means yeah. my. I realize that just makes my the start of my list: Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. But, uh -huh. but, but, Mars is pretty cool. So. Um. But okay. So second place is that is that Jupiter. Yeah. And then Saturn. Okay. Yes. I can live with that. Well, for the start of my the sun is in last place. Damn, <laughs> what? Well, it is a deadly laser. We know one thing about the sun, and that is it is a deadly laser, so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Yeah, listen, I realize now that the start of my list of this stream is just, you know, listing the planets in order. But listen, that's, that's in part because it's likelihood to be destroyed by the sun eventually. So... I'd be, I, I am really tempted to put Venus ahead of Earth, and like, I'm not trying to put, uh, again, I, I'm taking my own notes into consideration. Earth's a miracle amongst planets as far as we're aware, and also I do like a lot of the nature on it. But with all that being said, Venus is a possibility for that, but it, it is just smothered in clouds, which honestly almost makes it cooler. Um... But with that being in mind, again, it's definitely going to get wrecked by the sun. So I, I really can't, in good conscience, put it above Earth. So. But yeah. I'd love... Hate Venus. What's that? All my homies hate Venus. Listen. It, I think it's cool. But again, be... Like, I... I respect your reason for per putting Mercury decently high. But as two, the two planets destined to get blown the fuck away, I'm like, I'm not getting attached. I'm sorry. You know? It's, it's like f falling in love with a character who dies in the first scene of the movie. It's like, I can get it, but I, it's just not it for me, Chief. <laughs> you never love the dying animal that shows. That's very rude of you, and it's also categorically untrue, <laughs> so. You never once loved to die, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I said a thing to Juice today, um, and I was like, Juice, don't cry. And they are like, I wasn't going to, and I was like, shocker. <laughs> Juice, yeah, we're so frequent. Just cry about everything? Yeah. Just because every time I'm like, you're being mean to me, you're like, oh! Uh. Cool. Cool, because I always just gets it. I'm surprised Venus gets less for Beba. I think Venus is cool. Again, my bottom two, I do have to go to the planets destined to be fucking incinerated, but... Um... But but Ven I think Venus is neat enough on paper that I was willing to consider lifting it out of there. Venus is just hell. I think, but I, that's what I think Mercury is. Mercury is super hell. Um, you could you could suck the hell out of Venus though, due to proximity. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Beba is ex Be I'm I Beba is voicing one of the reasons I put Venus second to last. Um but I, I'll admit it's smaller for me than what Beba was saying. Um But I I do think a lot of when you learn stuff about Venus it's like, oh neat. In another world where it wasn't just fucking destroyed by gas, where it were just wasn't just a hot boxed forever. Um, it, it would be like, we would be looking at that way more than Mars. But as it stands, Mars is our baby, so. I want to go to the hot box. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have put it so low then. It knows what it did. What did it do? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. It knows, not Look me. It. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at Venus. 
It's the bastard who ruined my marriage. So. Mm -hmm. Many, ma I need many masts. Hans before the bast. Do you Earth feel death? Exactly. You put Earth dead last, Juice. Yeah, because if Earth didn't have life, I wouldn't have to pay taxes. <laughs> if Earth didn't have life, no one would give a shit about it, so... Also, Earth supporting life does not mean you have to pay taxes. Fucking... Earth could have just evolved into forest and deer, and that could have been it, so... It would have been great. Exactly. Been <laughs> we, could have, we could all have been cool deers. <laughs> You all are acting like Earth is like, yeah, I love having humans on me. Fucking, you should know better. Do you do you love having ticks on you digging in your skin? No. Then guess what? I imagine Earth doesn't like us. Yeah, but we're smaller than ticks. And still, we're like heartworms. We're like fucking Ebola. We're we're actively killing it. I know this is getting dark now, but. I don't know what you want me to- you're, I think it's getting dark because everyone here is just like, Earth sucks because we exist. And I'm like, Earth doesn't like that either. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would argue Earth likes us being here even less than we don't like us being here, so. Fuck it, I'm gonna go to the moon. It, I don't, it doesn't count as a planet. I'm going to the moon. <laughs> moon time. You can't stop me. I would if if I had to move to another place in this solar system, Europa, easy choice. Give me that secret ocean, baby. I wonder if, cause, what was I thinking of? I wonder if I mean we discussed this on stream about the idea of fighting entropy. But, so, Europa is one of the moons that has an ocean underneath this. We know this. I believe we also know that the moon under Europa specifically is, in fact, liquid water. Um, what's it thinking of? I don't know if that means if it has a molten core. Because if you don't know, planets with liquid water, but not necessarily close to a star. Though, I'm talking about rogue planets now, which are just nowhere near a star. Those need a molten core to keep the water liquid at any point of, um, on it, or otherwise it'll just freeze due to the vacuum of space and everything. Um, but with that in mind, I'm wondering if there's a natural, naturally occurring uh, thing on Europa that I could use to A, help heat up water underneath the surface, and B, um, provide, <laughs> provide power necessary for that. Some kind of turbines I could utilize via the via you know via being in a massive ocean. Nah, it's actually just the light reflecting off of the metallic things from the sun. But what's the well? One of them definitely has an ocean, though. It, it's not. I was making that up. I the, the fucking why are you like this? What is wrong with you? It was funny. <laughs> well, it wasn't. <laughs> it was like, For me, it was. The world is less magical now, <laughs> and you were just like, funny. <laughs> also, your Be Right Back screen is still on. Damn it. I had to get pictures. I had to get pictures of boats, okay? You don't understand. I don't just have pictures of boats on my computer. Which is shocking. Shocking. I actually think I'm about to call it soon. I want to get the comic done tonight, but I'm tired. I'm turd. And there haven't been that. There haven't been there haven't been that many people here, which I would sh again. I always am willing to stream without anyone showing up, but it does affect how long stream goes. <laughs> so, and also we got we got a pretty like good little panel done today. So, I think that's pretty good. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy. I've been taking it easy a lot recently, but that's just because life keeps throwing shit at me. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know what you want from me. An apology? Fuck no. No. Oh. Brought up Google. You're just gonna yell at me, as they do. Thanks for coming by, guys. If y'all, if anyone here has a suggestion, well, wait. Chen streaming. I think we should tr raid Chen or Viz. Chen's playing Earth. I here's legit, legit. Not only is Chen my friend, they're playing Earthbound. Viz is playing Celeste. I have more interest in Earthbound than <laughs> Celeste. And I'm sorry. But the transos. I don't. I actively don't. I don't know why you would respect these hurtful rumors. So everyone, go give some love to Chen. But yeah. Thanks for coming by. We're j I'm just going to be drawing again tomorrow. I do hope to see you there, but um, no pressure for sure. Hopefully tomorrow I won't start stream with, I don't know, a migraine. <laughs> then that'll mean I'll, I'll be down to go longer no matter who's here. So that was, that was definitely a hiccup in the road. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. Bye.